is so unpredictable. You could literally go from being fine and then the next minute you're not. And there's nothing you can do. And there's nothing wrong with getting therapy yourself or getting therapy for your family to figure out how to channel their emotions about it. Because when Max and Mia get old enough, we're going to do the same thing because I want them to be able to channel their emotions. And I'm not going to be able to not ever go back to the hospital. Like, I would love to say that I'm cured for sickle cell and I don't have to go back. But that's not my reality right now. But what I can say is, when I am in there, I do my best to make sure that my kids and I have fun because I don't want them to have memories of me. I know they're going to have the memories of me being in the hospital, but I want those memories to be associated with something fun. Not that, well, mama was always in the hospital, but and it was just so depressing and so sad and this, that, and everything. And I want them to be like, you know, yes, we, my mama spent a lot of time in the hospital. But do you remember when we did such and such with mama while she was in the hospital that one time? Or do you remember when we did this that one time mama wasn't feeling good? And all of that type of stuff. Do you remember the games we played? Do you remember the things we did? Like, I want them to have where they're going to remember that I was in the hospital, but it was associated with something fun. I want them to have good memories. I don't want it to be, you know, associated with different type of emotions other than excitement and happy and ecstatic and wonderful this video is like 20 minutes long. Babe, I just want to tell you that I love you till forever. And I appreciate you. And I appreciate you, Landon, and Mia, and Max, and to our village who we have. I appreciate you guys. And I'm so grateful. I love you guys. Peace.